everyone, welcome to Eden's Secret. It's pack and crack day today and we are getting lots of rain here in June, which is very unusual because I always say the best month to come on holiday to the lakes is actually June. Um, but it has been nice, uh, the weather. Obviously it's July now if you're watching. Um, but yeah, there's been a lot of damp muggy rain the humidity was 85 percent the other day and i've never been one for watching the weather or checking the humidity levels very much but i don't think i've ever seen it that high uh, let me know if you've seen it higher in this country okay so let's get some of these orders packed shall we So if you're watching, yes, we have a buy four, get two free offer on the website at the moment. So it's buy four, get two free products of the same value. So obviously the soaps are 575, uh, the wax melts are 375 each. So if you buy four wax melts, you get two wax melts free. If you buy four soaps, you get two soaps free if you buy four bath bombs you get two bath bombs free but we haven't got any left at the moment but i will get some mid this week and get some more on the website um so yeah that's the offer i'm not sure how long it's going to last uh, i really would like rid of all of the um the royal porcelain soap so i can get some more soaps made so yeah anything that's in the soap making from scratch series i don't actually sell but everything else you see me making on the youtube channel i do sell on the website and the link is always in the description box below the video if you want to go down to check the website out incidentally if you want to contact me um that is where you contact me on the website I okay so you'll see this order wasn't actually was They've only bought two products basically, so they don't qualify for the buy four, get one free because you've got to buy a minimum of four products. So we've got a piece of pink crystal rose quartz and we've got a French macaron. But I will still throw her in a sample or two. I think the fresh hair honey and amber is a beautiful fragrance for wax melts as well if you like pink sugar you'll like this it's not like pink sugar but it contains amber um, and amber is predominant in um, pink sugar so I think you'll like that it is really really pleasant So all the links to the boxes and everything I'm using in this video today will be in the description box below the video. So if you're watching on an iPad or a phone, there's an arrow, a black arrow pointing downwards just below the actual video on the right hand side. If you click on that, that will open your description box. And if you want to place a comment, there's an arrow pointing downwards further down uh, it's under the description uh, you can click that if you want to place a comment and if you want to join my channel and become a subscription member which will help me to provide you with more information and more videos every little helps as they say and it has been pretty quiet for me uh, over the past three months actually so really uh, would value any help you can give if you can't afford to be a, a subscription member just by 
especially sharing a video that really really helps because that will get more people to watch my videos um, liking my videos commenting on videos just simply watching the videos really does make a difference as well and um, so I'm really grateful to you for which any way you can help also I have a few ads not adsense what they're called affiliate links I've never used affiliate links over all these years uh, but there are some affiliate links in the description box of the video. So if you want to buy anything, um, please use my affiliate link. And with affiliate links, you just get a few pence on each sale. That's all. You don't get very much. But as I said before, every little helps and it all adds up. Hate, hate asking. Uh, for anything to do with money but I know that when when I mention it it does make a difference especially to the people that want to have a monthly subscription to the channel um, and you do get perks for be being a member in that way plus I'm actually going to be doing actually I'm not going to say yet because I don't think anybody else does this and I don't want anyone to steal my idea so I'm not going to bring that up yet um, but I do have something extra planned for those who want to subscribe to my channel in that way and it will be something that only the members will get And you can upgrade your subscription at any time. So I've got a $1.99 subscription and I've got a $4.99 subscription. Obviously, YouTube do take a percentage of that. Um, so we'll have a $1.99, a $4.99 and maybe 9.99 or a little bit less for this new one but whichever tier you get, if you take the higher tier you are entitled to all the benefits from the lower tiers so that's a really good thing And this is yours, Maggie, if you're watching. I know you watch, so you're probably watching this. So that's your order there. The next order is for Louise. And this one is going to Musselburgh in the United Kingdom. So we've got a toasted marshmallow soap cake. I ran out of that lovely white cellophane. Uh, white printed cellophane but it was a Christmas cellophane anyway so it's about time it ran out uh, so I'm just using the gold cellophane that I've got at the moment a pink crystal quartz soap an angel wings um, wax melt let's just spread these out shall we so we can see which ones are which so we need an angel wings The scent of Lush and a silky Sakura so that's another Lush fragrance there and then we need a freebie um, she's got two soaps she's got three wax melts so I'm going to give her one soap free and one wax melt free I'm going to give her a birthday cake because from the fragrances she's ordered, I'm pretty sure she'll love the smell 
of birthday cake. And then we also need, you know, I should have separated the soaps, the ones that are bought to one side and then the ones I can give away as freebies on the other side. So I'm going to do that now. Just okay, so I'm also going to give her a cashmere wax melt as a sample. I'm going to give her a rhubarb and ginger gin. Um, and a piece of Mundus Mind soap. So that's her order there, ready to go. And I just need to take a photo of it. And I just tend to cut pieces of cardboard and things that I've got left over so I can write the name on and then take the picture. So if you've been on my Instagram over the weekend, you'll notice that me and John actually, we went out for the day. We actually just went for a drive around the lakes. And the first place we went to, uh, John's looking for a car. So we went to Lindell and there's an Audi garage there he likes to go to. Uh, around here a lot of people especially locals that have been here for a long time they like to buy from the same supplier that they've had a good service from all the time so we went to Lindell to the Audi garage and had a look at some cars because uh, we're thinking John's car's nearly at the end of its life. It's got 200,000 miles on. But that just shows you how good Audis are and how long they last. Uh, but both of our cars, mine and his, they're both old, old Audis. Uh, mine's an A6 and his is an A6 estate. Um, so, yeah. They need replacing. One of them's going to need replacing anyway. We're not going to replace both. Can't afford to replace both. Can't afford to replace one actually. But anyway, needs must. Um, and then we went to. Uh, we were going to drop the computer off. My old computer off to see if it could be fixed. And um, that was it. Um, Barra, and then after we'd been to Barra, we actually decided to have a drive up through the lakes. So a road, but before we got to Barra, we went to we were passing by Cartmel. Now there's a famous race course at Cartmel, but there's also a very famous restaurant there called Le Clume. L apostrophe. E C L U M E, and this chef that owns Le Clume, he's often, you know, he's often one of the famous chefs that you get on cookery programs, and he in particular goes on a cookery program called um, the Great British Menu, and. Um, I really really wanted to go and see that so if you have a look on my Instagram you'll see some gorgeous gorgeous photos of this stunningly beautiful tiny little village uh, called Cartmel C-A-R-T-M-E-L and I'm so glad we went it was a rainy day uh, so it wasn't too busy uh, the roads are quite narrow getting in and out of there. Uh, but it's also the home of the sticky toffee pudding. If you've ever had Cartmel sticky toffee pudding, this is where it's actually made in this little village. Nothing to do, well, I don't think it's anything to do with uh, Le Clume. Um, 
but Simon Rogan, he also owns uh, another restaurant in town called Rogan & Co, which I didn't actually know. And they have one Michelin star. And then Le Clume has two Michelin stars. So that tells you how good the food is. Uh, Le Clume, I think they do like a tasting menu. So you go in and you get so many courses uh, for a certain amount of money, which is quite a lot of money. I'm sure it's over £100, but don't quote me on that. Um, but off the back of that restaurant that's done so well, um, there's lots of love, not lots, because lots to you will be very little, but to me, lots is quite a few. Uh, lovely gift shops and things like that in that village. It's well worth stop in to have a look at because uh, they've got some lovely stuff incidentally one of the shops doesn't matter which tourist town you go into there's always a shop selling bomb cosmetics soaps and bath bombs and things so i always like to have a bit of a sniff around them and i love to go and sniff candles and and things like that so it was just a wonderful day to actually get out and enjoy a bit of our beautiful countryside. And then we drove into Ambleside because naturally the road just takes you there. Uh, we went down to Bowness on Windermere and we got some fish and chips. John got fish and chips, I just got a fish on its own. Um, and stole a couple of John's chips and uh, we went to eat them in Hayes Garden World because we wanted to go and have a look at the, at the, the garden furniture but damn it, it it closed at half past five and we got there a quarter past five and obviously we wanted to eat our chips first so we didn't get in to have a look, which is a shame. So we've got two soaps here and a cupcake soap. So we need a, a freebie soap. So I think I'm going to do, because she's got black raspberry and vanilla and she's got French macaron. The mac macaron's kind of cherry-ish, so... She must like fruit, so I've gone for, I'll go for the freebie as rhubarb and ginger. And then again, she's got black raspberry and melon in the cupcake soap. So, um, she's also ordered a bath bomb, so I don't know what to do for a freebie, but I'll go and get the bath bomb. So, we ate our, well, I didn't eat all of mine. Uh... John ate all of his. He said, said they weren't that great. I'm not a lover of British fish and chips. It's like the first mouthful's always nice, but by the time you get to the end, it's like, ugh. All the grease and everything. I just end up saying, oh, I'm not getting any more of them for, for, for ages, for a long time. And so... I'll, I only get fish and chips when I fancy it. Trouble is, John absolutely loves fish and chips. Um, even if we go to restaurants, he tends to get fish and chips. Uh, what's your hobby like, or your wife or partner like? Um, what do you like to eat? And what do they like to eat? Do they tend to always get the same thing? Do you tend to always get the same thing? When I'm eating out at a restaurant, I like to get something that I can't make at home. Or something I've never tried before. Uh, and often, you can make it better at home than, than you can make it, than you can buy it. So, right, so this looks huge now, this order. So, we've gone from... Four products 
to six products because buy four get two free and then we'll even throw in a sample or two so that's a sample of the Wedgwood soap which is lavender and a cashmere cream so I need a decent sized box for this one so we were going to drive uh, up through the lake so from Ambleside up to Keswick and home that way but John said that oh we haven't seen the new bridge in Pooley Bridge yet so shall we go that way and I was like hmm yeah all right then so that means going up via Kirkston Pass which is a high pass um, that goes up um, through the mountains and ends up down at the bottom or the top of Ullswater. So it brings you out at Glen Ridding, which is also lovely. And one of my favourite hotels in the lakes is there called the Inn on the Lake. I, I absolutely love it. It might not be the most beautiful hotel we've got in the lakes because there are some amazing hotels in the lakes. But um, it's the location. It's right next to the lake and they've got a lovely garden and a jetty, um, you know, where the boats can pull in and out. And I just think it'd be gorgeous for a wedding. Uh, so if Declan ever gets married, I hope he has his wedding it in on the lake. Another gorgeous hotel, which is owned, owned by the same people in the lakes, is called. Uh, it's called. It used to be called the Lowwood, but it's now called the Lowwood Bay, and they've done so much work to it. They've built a fantastic new spa. It's all been done out. The hotel is is really gorgeous, and that's on the side of Windermere lake and um they've also got like a oh what do you call it where the boats park what's it called where all the boats park in by the lake or you can have them by the sea uh marina yeah um a beautiful marina there so i think a wedding there I think if I was choosing between the two, I probably would go to the low wood because the specs so much higher, um, and the location's absolutely and the location's just absolutely fantastic, and all the rich people tend to go down to Windermere because that's where the fancy yachts are I mean they're not like the type of yachts you see on below deck or anything but they're pretty good I mean some of them will be million dollar yachts but the yachts you see on below deck are like a gazillion dollar yachts um, I'd love to go on a yacht but could never ever ever afford it I mean I was looking up those yachts on below deck um, it's at least a hundred thousand dollars a week to stay on there and then you've got a tip seems like the least anybody tips is fifteen thousand dollars I mean it's crazy money isn't it totally out of my league the other type of boat I'd really love to do is to go onto Lake Powell uh, is, is it, yeah, it's Lake Powell, isn't it, in the States, just over from the Grand Canyon, and you can order these, you can hire these houseboats there, houseboats there, and uh, I'd love, I mean, it, it seems like there's nothing else there except for that lake, but the scenery is just so dramatic. Actually, while I'm mentioning the States, I want to let you know that you people in the States are slacking. Because my number one viewers this month are 
from Australia. Well done, Australia. Thank you so much for watching. And I'm so glad that more and more of you have started to watch me here at Eden Secret. So the top two are usually the UK and the US. Usually the US because the US is so much bigger and there's so more pe many more people. It's hard to compete with them. So hats off to you Australia for, uh, for outdoing the USA this week, this month. So what's everybody going to do about it? Whichever country you're in, what are you going to do about it? Tell all your friends and let's see who's going to be number one next month. I thought it would be quite interesting to have a little competition uh, each month and see who is going to be, which country is going to be my top viewer. So while we're talking about the bigger countries who watch, I also just want to mention some of the smaller or lesser known countries that watch is Romania, hello Romania, South Korea, hello South Korea, Bangladesh, Armenia, Vietnam, Puerto Rico, Oman, all of you I just want to say hello to you and thanks so much for watching from whichever country you're in. So for this order, we've got three of the cakes, two toasted marshmallow, which I've sold out of now, but I do still have some cotton-headed ninny mug, and that's the one with the pink lid, a black raspberry and melon cupcake soap, and then we need a flirtatious bath bomb. So I'm going to give them a free white cheetah bath bomb in this order. It smells like sweater weather. It's still a beautiful smell that. I still love it. So yeah, so from Oldswater, we drove up to the top of Oldswater or the bottom, whichever way around you want to see it, um, to Pooley Bridge. And the new bridge is really nice. Uh, the old bridge, incidentally, it got washed away in the 2015 Storm Desmond. And uh, the new bridge is totally different to the old bridge. And what I like about the new bridge is uh, you can actually see through it. It goes over the river which flows into uh, Lake Oldswater. And on the riverbank on the side there, there's some lovely houses and there's also some nice uh, cafes and tea rooms and uh, there's a pub called, I think it's the Sun. Is it the Sun? We've been there for a meal. And, and it was really quite good. I loved the atmosphere and the setup. It's all been modernised. There seems to have been a lot of modernisation going on the lakes over recent years, which I think is absolutely wonderful because I thought for a long time, a lot of years, it's been stuck in the time warp and very 80s decor and carpets and things like that and i love to see that it's it's coming into the 21st century and it looks really a lot of places are looking really smart and somewhere that you would want to go and i think like things like instagram have a big um is a big reason for that um 
So we've got a freebie there. So we've got one, two, three, four, five items. Um, so we need a free soap. Uh, again, she's bought black raspberry. So I think quite all quite foody, yummy sort of smelling. So I think I'll give her a black raspberry waffle. And one, two, three, four, five. It's weird when they order five, you want to give them even more, but really they're qualifying for two free. So there's the two, but it's okay because it will give them some extra freebies as well. So we've got a crispy marshmallow wax melt, the scent of lush, and a French macaron soap. So yeah, Pooley Bridge is really nice to go to as well. It's not too far into the lakes and it's sort of on the way into the lakes as well if you go into the South Lakes. Um, so well worth a visit. A lot of people tend to stop off at Pooley Bridge on their way home from the lakes rather than going in. Okay, so another thing I want to talk about today. Did you see the new Diana statue memorial that Prince William and Prince Harry unveiled? What did you think of it? Well, I have to say, I can't say that I think much of it. Um... I didn't like the colour of it, that greeny, mossy colour. Probably will fit in in the winter though. Um, it did slightly look like her. Uh, I was expecting much better. thought it would have been better in a lighter colour. You know, like, like white or cream or something like that. Um, but I was looking at a programme and you can actually, actually, when William and Harry unveiled it, I mean, obviously I knew it was serious and it was real and this was the real statue, but I kept expecting James Corden to run in. Did you see when James Corden did a statue of David Beckham? And it was absolutely hideous. It was just a joke. Um, and his face was an absolute picture so I half expected that that's what was going to happen but I knew really that that wasn't going to happen they couldn't like make a joke of something like as serious as a statue of Diana and making a hideous version of it uh, to try and trick everybody uh, but I didn't like it. But actually, you can't really get up very close to that. Um, you can't get up very close to that statue because that sunken garden is for the royals only. So you can only see it from a certain distance. You can't go and stand right in front of the statue, which is is a bit of a shame, isn't it? Um, but it still looks beautiful, that garden. Okay, so this is the biggest box I've got in these uh, subscription style boxes. And this is about 32 by 20. I'm very sure it shall I? I always say that, don't I? Let's measure it, shall we? So this one is from Pack Supplies. This is 32 centimetres by 26 centimetres by 10. It's actually more like 11, 11 and a half. I'm 
this one is for Maria. So what I want to know is what did you think of the statue? Did you like it? Did you appreciate it? if you didn't like it let me know in the comments below the video okay friends that's pack and crack for July all done and dusted obviously I've still got some packing to do as you can see here um, so I'll see you for another video very very soon from Eden Secret. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye for now.